Hey guys, Sean Terry here, flip2freedom.com. Hope you're doing well. All right, so uh, I held a deal syndicate call with all the members of our uh, six-figure syndicate mastermind group. We have a deal syndicate. It's for brand new people that are getting started. They actually come to my office and we do deals with my team. And actually we provide all the leads and they learn how to do the business right along beside myself and my team. Um, and actually, if you get a deal, part of the deal syndicate nine, um, you we will send you 25%. And we have one of our members, we're actually sending a $4,000 $750 check because he was here in the office, made the calls, uh, got someone online, made the offer, got the property under contract. We worked with them through the whole process and he, we sent him, uh, we're sending him 25% of the deal. So, um, I held a call with the, I do a, a monthly call with the deal syndicate mastermind group. And uh, there's one of the members that asked a specific question, and he said, God was calling me to do this business, but he's in a situation right now where he is um, having doubt, right? So what, uh, you know, so he asked the question, and then this is my response. I'm going to let you listen to what I told him when it comes to doubt and God leading him to do this business. So um, he kind of went out on a limb and asked the question. I really appreciate him asking the question. Um, and now you get to see actually the segment of me. It's a quick video of me sharing uh, what I said. So um, if you want to go out there and crush it, you want to go out there and learn wholesaling and go out there and make an average of $28,000 per deal, how to do deals nationally all across the country and be able to potentially come to the office here. It's obviously by um, application only and do deals with us. Then do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button. Also to there, the application below. Um, if you want to apply for the syndicate nine and be able to come to the office and be able to participate in doing deals with a team and get paid for doing it. Um, then all you got to do is click the link below in this video. All right. So watch this and uh, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. God bless. I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Yeah. Run it. Run it. Ooh. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my I uh, joined this group, um, I, I graduated from college back in December, and I, I, I started working at a real estate firm, and I was there for like a month, and like just something just like didn't feel right, I, I'm a very like faith-based person, you know, yeah, um, and I really felt that the Lord was pulling me in another direction. And so I completely took a leap of faith and just quit. Hmm. Or I don't call it quitting. I call it redirecting my focus. And it was after hearing one of your podcasts. And I would sit at that desk for six hours a day listening to your episodes. And <laughs> probably, no, no, like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is not anywhere close to me exaggerating. <laughs> and hearing... Like it, it literally gave me the confidence to pull my boss aside and to step away and to do this full time. And um, to say that it's been a journey is anything like this has been a complete journey for me. Um, I, I tend to psych myself out, you know, because I've also put myself in a position um, to where I have to succeed. And I actually watched your, your uh, YouTube videos that you put out this past week about feeling like you're in a rut and how to get out of it. Yeah. And lately... You know, I can speak for me and I feel like I can also speak for other people in the group. Like, like I have definitely been like doubting myself just a little bit, you know, and I like your kind of analogy of driving from Nashville to Phoenix and kind of driving through Texas. Like, I feel like I'm right in Texas right now, like right in the heart of there being nothing, but I have faith like that this is going to work for me. You know, something that's been hard for me is just the fact that, you know, because I am like self-employed in a way, um, you know, like I, I spend a lot of time on my own, which can be a really healthy thing, but it can also be a dark thing for me just because I've been through some stuff in my life to where like I tend to overthink things and I start to question myself. Mm -hmm. And so I, I it, there's another guy on this call right now. His name is Chris. Um, and I, I got connected with him and he's made a really cool empire out of selling solar. 
and we had uh, lunch lunch a couple weeks ago and he actually like educated me on solar and so i've been on the side like trying to sell solar panels as well but then i feel like i'm like taking away from like this you know so i, I just feel like kind of confused and hearing from you today you know just for me like it's been really inspirational and just kind of like read you know like it's like i know why i did this and i know that like god put me here to do this for a reason and i'm not like i'm not trying to quit this you know yeah absolutely and i i think what keeps me going is having a crystal clear vision of exactly where you're going right and see here's the thing is god gives us the vision and then we you know we have to go take action massive action in faith that we're moving forward but you know it, it, it's <clears throat> one thing i know that is that in life you know there's challenges that come up to test your faith because you know what does god want most from us what is the number one thing he wants from us if you're going to say you know like he just wants us to trust him and have faith exactly 100 percent. you nailed it he wants us to literally have 100 percent faith and trust now that is not easy that's not easy like tithing when you're when you look at the bills you have and you look at the money coming in and you got to give a tenth and you're going wait a minute that doesn't add up that is faith that is active faith now there's armchair faith you know what armchair faith is i can sit in my chair and I can have all the faith I want, but when you get out in the arena of life and you actually have to take active faith in something, that's when growth happens. That's when you go, wow, he's real, right? And that's where, you know, comes becomes real to you in incredible ways. So, you know, that dark point is is a great place to be and it's probably one of the it's a great place to be because it works that faith muscle that doubt everybody has it i i still have it every everybody has doubt now it's how long you dwell on that doubt you know, kind of determines, like I have doubt come up and I just, I'm like, okay, what, what, I tell myself, Sean, shut up. What, what are you nuts? Okay, let's go. Come on. And I focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. So a lot of problem is people then focus, you know, they have doubt come up and then they just dwell on it. And then the next thought comes up and next, and the man of this and all these things come up instead of just dismissing it of, of like, why? Because here's the thing. If you're going to have a partner in your life, a partner, wouldn't you want to have God as your partner? Because like, he knows everything. He's infinite. Uh, you know, he, 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 all you have, he is your partner. He, you just gotta, you just gotta push through to the other side. And see, here's the thing though, is life tests you to see how bad you want it. Because it is not natural. Well, it is natural. I mean, and it should be natural. But do you realize the majority of Americans, the average income in America is 35000 a year? The average median income is $35,000 a year. That's the average median income right now in America. So if the average American income, median income is $35,000 a year, and we do a deal and make $35,000 in a couple weeks. You know what I mean? That's, that's not normal. That's against our thinking, right? Because we're conditioned to, I got to go to college and I got to get a good education so I can get a job and I can make $50,000 a year. We're conditioned for our whole entire lives going up, you know, when obviously God's infinite. 
But so we have to, uh, and the breaking through is mostly our mental barriers that, oh my gosh, can we do this? And is it possible? So then there becomes self-inflicted challenges, you know, and, and, the, and the challenges are mostly self-inflicted and it's, and it's due to procrastination is due to knowing you have to do it and not doing it. Right. You know, saying you're going to do something and then not doing it. Right. Just like, you know, let's say you want to lose weight or you want to, you want to, you want to work out and you want to, you know, be healthy and fit. Well, you say, this is what I'm going to commit to doing every single day. You know what? I'm going to make sure I eat clean. I'm going to eat carb-free. I'm going to eat minimal carbs, whatever it is. I'm going to drink X amount of water a day. And I'm going to go to the gym at least an hour a day for at least four days a week. And I'm going to do that. Now, you do that twice, three times, four times. And you, you, you look in the mirror and you go, oh, you know, you don't see results. People are such instant society. And then they stop or they quit or they let themselves off the hook because that brownie looks really good. Or they go, they don't feel like it because they worked out three days in a row, super hard. And the fourth day they were going to go to the gym. Now they're sore and they go, oh, my back, I, mean, I, I don't want to go. I, you know, I, uh, my foot hurts or my ankle hurts, my back hurts or whatever, you know? And they let themselves off the hook. So it's mostly self-inflicted, you know? And if we just would have 100% faith, we have a absolute clear, crystal clear vision of what you want for your life your life and your family, that vision, and you keep it at the forefront of your head, you give it to God, say, listen, if it's your will, and he gave you the vision for a reason, you know, and you pray and you say, can you please help me with this vision? <laughs> and literally, I can tell you one habit or things that I just do, every, I literally pray, I, I pray before this. I pray for every video. I pray for every meeting. I pray for every before every phone call. I, li I, I, I literally constantly pray all day long. Constantly. Now, I don't know if, you know, some people might not believe in God, whatever, but whatever, you're on my show. So, you know, it is what it is. The, but I, I tell you all day long because he is my partner in life, <laughs> you know? And I know for a fact he's real. And he's better than me. And he works a lot better than me. And, and guess what? Things work better if I rely on him. Everything works better. When I don't, and I think I've got it, and everything's going good, and I'm confident in my own, I got it. Thank God. <laughs> I've got it down, man. I'm the man. Everything sucks. Everything goes to hell in a handbag, right? It's just for me. It might not be for anybody else. Everyone else might have all their stuff together. But for me, I don't. I need help. And I can tell you, you know, yeah, if you have the vision, if you have the perspective and the expectation, and you say you're going to do something and you do it, it is inevitable. Just don't let yourself off the hook. Have faith and trust, and you will get to it. It's literally success is inevitable. You will achieve it no matter what. And guess what? You'll probably do 10 times more than I've ever done. 10 times more. Because the most of my career, I thought it was all that, and I just tried to do it myself. You are a thousand times ahead of, I, ahead of me because you've already got it. It's just going to manifest in your life now. You've already got it. You know how long it took me to figure out what you know already? Years of beating my head against the wall, trying to do everything myself with zero faith and zero trust. Years. It took years. You will, you will go, you will far surpass anything I've ever accomplished ever in real estate. I know that for a fact.
And I think that's a great thing. You know, just have the biggest vision. Don't limit it. Don't go, well, that's just uh, biggest vision you can have and put close your eyes. And I mean, literally every single morning for about a half hour to an hour, 45 minutes, I read my Jesus calling. I, you know, read my vision. I, you know, write my gratitude letter, everything I'm grateful for, everything I'm grateful for now and everything I'm grateful for. It's about to happen. Every single, that's one of those things you do every single day. I say my prayers for everybody. I pray for you guys. And, you know, I sit there and I just vision my life, my vision. You know, then I put in God's hand. I go to work. I get up at five, between five and five 30. I go to sleep around 11. There's no time to sleep. And I'm, I cannot sleep. Do you know I wake up three or four times in the night because I'm so excited to get up in the morning? I, ca I can't even sleep. I mean, it's like, imagine being so excited about what you do that you go to bed at 11, you wake up at 5, 5.30, and you still can't sleep. I wake up at like 1 o'clock, and I'm like, damn, is it 1 o'clock yet? I mean, it's just like, I, I, you know, when's 5 o'clock going to come? Let's go. You know? And then my little alarm thing goes off. I lay there for a little bit. Think about everything I'm grateful for. And I'm like, I'm out. Let's go. You know, it's like, I mean, what's the alternative? Wake up depressed. You know, oh, go wake up and roll over, and then you negotiate with yourself to sleep in for another 30 minutes. And then you wake up and you feel guilty that you slept in for another 30 minutes to an hour. Then you feel like crap the rest of the whole day. Who wants that? You know? So. Love it. Cool. Well, I hope you uh, love that uh, segment and uh, our communication back and forth on um, on his uh, his question, what he was dealing with, and the doubt, and the and the having the trust and the faith um, in God. And I know um, what I love about teaching is that you can mix business you know, of, of actually going out there and doing deals and the, the technical side of the business of doing deals and the KPIs and the numbers and the specifics, but also too, you can match it with what you believe in your personality. And sometimes it's for some people and sometimes it's not, which is, which is completely fine. Um, the great thing about it is you don't have to watch if you're not, uh, you know, you're not in agreement. That's, that's completely fine too. So the bottom line is, is, is that um, my goal and my mission through doing this is to make an impact, share everything I know so you can have success a lot faster than I have ever had, um, but then also share what's working for me specifically in my life and hoping that maybe you'll take a few segments out of it. You can, you can kind of, you know, kind of sift in through things that you like and you don't like, um, but my, my mission is to make an impact and I hope that's uh, done that for you today. So again, um, if you want to learn more, uh, hit the syndicate nine. If you want to participate in, um, in the, our mastermind there also too, if you want to learn about how to do deals nationally, specifically click the link below It's bear market millions. We actually did a, a, a training, go through the, uh, uh the, uh, seven step process and exactly what to do to get deals nationally. We actually show you example deals as well. So click that link below. Also, there's a, there's a bunch of free stuff below like contracts and calculators and and all that type of stuff. So whatever the case may be, um, we'll be able to uh, hook you up in your wholesaling journey. So I hope this helps and uh, have an incredible day. Take care and God bless.